Hey, 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 welcome back to the channel. And today's video, we will go over my Monday pre market and aftermarket analysis. And I'll show you how the markets were boring today. You will see one and only opportunity that we had, and how I analyzed it, and why I didn't at the end took it. So stay tuned. Good morning. We are just about to, I just woke up, it's 4 in the morning here, it's the GMT time, my trading time frames are one, our one time frame, this is my 6 pairs, and I can be engaged in a trade after 1 hour from here, actually 6 in the morning GMT time zone, but 6 in the morning candle end, and uh, this uh, pepper zone, uh, the c trader is showing when the candle starts so it's actually from six in the morning my time or five in the morning uh, a.m uh, still nothing on the radar here let me just check it out i'll just go really quickly nothing much changed okay so basically we are still just moving sideways and i'm not seeing anything yeah nothing nothing that i would be able to trade Maybe this would be my X point. Yeah, so if this comes down, this might be another bad another bad op opportunity from X to A, A to B, B to C, C to D, D completion at A86. Uh, besides that, we are still waiting for Euro to push down. This is for Gartley, pound dollar. Yeah, and we need to push up, push down because it didn't touch our 50% retracement and pound yen. It touched at 50, but we need to get a pull back down and pull back back up. Well, that's it. Yeah, when you're consistent in the market, and this is my like second, just like you know, second second video or second analysis. Uh, there is not much movement. You can catch everything based on your trade plan. I'm gonna put uh, this uh, with a. Uh, Another video, which will be late uh, later today, after I get get home. Uh, aftermarket after my uh, after my time for trading day has ended, which will be 5 p.m. GMT zone, and then I will combine both of this video in into one and upload it to the YouTube. So yeah, thank you very much. This this will be basically how this will be uh, structured morning pre-market analysis and then at the end of the day after market and review did i took some trades or did i not took them or why i took them and why i didn't took them etc thank you very much and talk to you soon bye bye one more thing as i was uh as i think that this not as i think as i see that this this can happen that this price can hit my uh pending orders in my uh, back tested time period, I have already placed my orders. I'm, tr uh, I'm I back tested two pair. I back tested uh, two targets. So my target one is 38.2, and my target two is 61.8. My uh, stop loss is below here, below my X point structure. And uh, some people might ask me why my, why did I put my pending orders two pips above my entry um, two pips about my supposed entry well because i backtested it this way i'm front running my orders which means that i want to account for uh spread and everything else so if you put here this is front running for two pips uh i'm using this little trick that i showed you 27.2 extension oh let me show you yeah so my target says give me a sec let, let me see did i make a mistake here live uh, if yes, I will just, you know, fix it. Okay, so 127, one, uh, 27, I have to be 1.141, 1 27, I will have to be at 47. So, 1414, one, where is it? 40, 40. There we go. 48 will be fine. I'm front running everything for two pips, and then just let's let's double check the targets. Let's see, are my targets okay? Because if they're not, I'll have to adjust those. Uh, they will be here. 38, 38.2 will be a little bit higher. 
let's see 38.2 this will be first target 38.2 is fine here and the 61.8 will be fine up there here yep so this is it my first live trade wait, waiting for for it to be hit I also have to check my uh, stop loss which is which seems to be fine actually I can I can slide it a little bit higher just to make sure that it's fine yeah anyway guys that's it that's my first trade waiting for trade to be hit and then we will see what will happen talk to you soon bye bye hi and we are back to the afternoon session in my trading session session for Monday is about to end. The Gartley that we had on our radar for Euro Dollar uh, will probably not be activated. And now I want to show you and give you one another lesson. If you are using two different charts, or two different trading uh, platforms for uh, backtesting and for trading, you gotta be watchful because here, if you check it out, uh, the here at the bottom, look, look at this. It says it's actually five p.m. based on the GMT time zone right but if I check my pepper uh, if I check my seat trader it actually says a different thing it will say uh, 4 p.m. and the thing is, the thing here is that the seat trader uh, is calculating candle uh, from the time the candle is being opened okay and not from the time the candle is being closed that means that after this candle closes obviously unless something happens in the next 13 minutes and it hits my you know uh, entry point I won't be able to en enter this Agartley pattern uh, because this is out of my per time period where I'm trading uh, so I want to show you this the difference that you got to be watchful sometimes the platforms are you know this one is uh, the ninja trader 7 I have it in settings I guess or I don't know is showing candle close and the C, tra C trader is showing candle open so you gotta match your times right so let's before we close it let's see do we have something else USD CAD did we get something here we will see we will see right about now let me just bring up my fips uh we might have something no no nothing here i was looking pro if this would hit 50 and then retrace then we would get some kind of a bad but it didn't hit 50 so we have nothing here nothing here at least for me so let's see aussie cad yeah there is nothing here unless unless this would be something of interest but 50% this might be bad let's see let's just check this out this candle low is 95141 it just touched this 50 but this x leg is just not for me so i wouldn't be i wouldn't be this is this would be the gartley if you were to tra uh, this would be the bad if you were to trade bats that will look like this uh and we, we we need to add another triangle 886 probably around here uh, which would be morning entry yeah that would be a bad and then what do we have here okay we might have something in here but as i said you know aussie usd this is the x point x to a x to a a to b b to c c to d but it's going out of my time when i'm when i'm supposed to trade so nothing here euro dollar 10 more minutes pound dollar it breached more x to a so at the x to a to b b to c actually went below the a point so nothing here for me and that's it there is nothing else i i'm able to trade let's see was this something that i didn't see 
today. No, it touched the 780, 786, so it's not a Gartley. Yeah, now let's see pound yen. Pound yen, uh, X to A, A to B. Let's see, do we have X to A? This would be, A to B would be this. Do we have something here? No, we have nothing here. So we don't have nothing on pound yen as well. This kind of sums it up for uh, today's first live trading session. I mean, it wasn't live, but it was recorded just like it, it, it were live because I didn't see anything besides the euro dollar pad, which didn't get triggered. The euro dollar Gartley, where I wasn't triggering it. And that's it. Yeah, boring day. Thank you very much for watching. And if you're new here, consider subscribing. Hit that subscribe button, smash that bell button, and click that like button. Thank you, thank you very much for staying until the end of the video. And catch you up tomorrow morning. Bye-bye.